WorkSafe BC has no oversight. Crown corporations such as ICBC and BC Hydro and near Crown corporations like BC Prairies are set up to put a distance between the politicians and the corporation. To have a level of oversight, some form of oversight committee is established. For example, BC Ferries has the Ferry Commission. Even with this arrangement, the corporations are not immune from political interference. Some of the interference is by legislation, such as the BC government legislating the BC Hydro Oversight Committee. The BC Utilities Commission were not to look at a number of contentious BC Hydro issues, or another time when the minister responsible ordered the BC UC to not approve a rate increase just before an election. WorkSafe with BC appears to be unique from oversight. The enabling legislation the Workers' Compensation Act gives the Workers' Compensation Board sole jurisdiction over WorkSafe BC, even specifically excluding the normal court system from the process. WorkSafe BC has no oversight outside of their own internal oversight. That is, no oversight. One would expect a provincial government organization like WorkSafe BC would have a body responsible for oversight over them. One would think such a body exists, and in theory that function is done by the legislature through the Minister of Labor, the Honorable Shirley Bond. But the Minister of Labor and her office, along with all other MLAs, maintain a strict hands-off, no political interference policy with WorkSafe BC, except when it's politically expedient to do so. The tragic sawmill fires near Prince George in 2012, which resulted in four deaths and 41 injuries, certainly did require an investigation into the bungling of the investigation by WorkSafe BC and no criminal charges being laid. Minister Bond ordered an investigation to be conducted in short order when the facts of the mess became known. One cannot believe it is only a coincidence that the mill fires directly affected her riding, one of the Prince George area ridings. Crown corporations have boards of directors appointed by the minister. Not particularly believable that these boards are immune to political interference no matter how many words are written to say they are independent. Yes, WorkSafe BC has a board too. Unfortunately, they do not have any stop-off between the board and the minister who refuses to exercise oversight except when the issue directly and seriously affects her writing. At a quick glance, one may think the Workers' Compensations Appeals Tribunal, or WCAT, provides oversight. WCAT's purpose is not oversight. The purpose is much narrower and does not deal with policy or how the policy is implemented. WCAT receives its funding from WorkSafe BC. One cannot possibly believe that an organization can provide effective oversight over an organization that provides its funding. The Minister is missing in action in terms of WorkSafe BC oversight, which leaves the top of the WorkSafe BC period with no oversight. According to the Fire Investigation Report, WorkSafe BC Review and Action Plan Status Report, BC is unique in Canada in that it is the only jurisdiction in which the Board has the authority to make and approve occupational health and safety regulations. WorkSafe BC Board of Directors has full control over the policy at WorkSafe BC authorized by Section 82 of the Workers' Compensation Act. Board of Directors and the Workers' Compensation Board shall set and revise as necessary the policies of the Board of Directors, including policies respecting compensation assessment, rehabilitation, and occupational health and safety or prevention. WorkSafe BC has no oversight. The WorkSafe Board of Directors has full control over policies, procedures, and can control what WCAT does. There is no oversight for WorkSafe BC.